or in a pair of shoes on the Adidas Confirmed app. It's all Japanese, but Google helped me translate it. Let's unbox this thing. Pretty. Thank you. So the green one is the classic custard, and the one with the hat is chocolate. You know this jacket is from 1950s. 1950s, but it looks the brand, brand new. Chapua. Looks like something you can get at Kiss. Falls. Oh yeah, Kiss friend. Yeah. So many 90s sweatshirts. So this is where all the good stuff went. They all went to Japan. <laughs> Just got back from cafe hopping and shopping in Shimokitazawa and we are freaking soaked. We're gonna get changed quickly and then head over downstairs for some jazz and a foot massage just down the road. <laughs>
all guests to wear a face mask. Hand sanitizers are available. We made it to Disneyland Tokyo. for this exclusive Christmas parfait, pistachio, and strawberry. We honestly got to Disney super late, but I came here for the parades and food and I got both. And if you compare it with Hong Kong Disneyland, the food is definitely more aesthetic, prettier, and then also it's a lot cheaper too. I think actually one thing I love about Tokyo Disneyland is not exactly for the rides, it's actually because I love people watching here. People are so into it that they dress up. It's almost like a Disney fashion show here.
in the past I used to use Instagram to dictate where we would travel and where we'd eat and shop but nowadays I feel like I don't want to do the whole checking off the boxes type of thing and ooh, train's Great. here we'll come in later but now it's less so of the checklist mentality and more an organic way of traveling and discovering new places in the city I think it's great that you know Instagram can inspire people to travel but at the same time I think over the last few years it's become just a massive checklist of things to do and I don't need to be doing what everyone else is doing and so nowadays I am rarely on Instagram to look for travel tips I just use my Google Maps and I zoom in on the area we're staying at and then bookmark a lot of the places that I want to go to On Instagram, it's about that perfect shot in the perfect moment, in the perfect second. Whereas YouTube is more about minutes, about hours, about days. We're about to do something very millennial. さあ、So two people on Instagram told me to try this milk pudding and I thought it was no coincidence so I went out to Lawson and bought a couple. Apparently it's number one. And of course, number one. they say they're number one, they don't lie. Looks like a panna cotta. It's more like a... If you guys know what tofu fa is, it's almost like a tofu fa, like but tofu. milk. Yeah, milky tofu. You know, like 
like it. Oh, give it to me. I'll eat it. Victor is not a fan. Too sweet. Mm. Same number of texture. <laughs> Drip milk on the top. <laughs> 